The Permian Reef of the Guadalupe Mountains and Carlsbad Caverns makes up the rim of a bowl-shaped rock feature in West Texas known as the Permian Basin. Due to the relationship between the rocks of the Guadalupe Mountains, Carlsbad Caverns area, and the rocks found deep in the Permian Basin, geologists were able to discover that this area contains the largest continental oil and gas reserves found in the lower 48 states. The Permian Basin Museum is all about the oil, and here in the East Wing you learn a little bit about the 500 million years of Texas geologic history that resulted in the massive oil and gas fields here in the Permian Basin. In this room, you can get an up-close and personal look at the actual rocks that were involved in making the Permian Basin the Petroleum Reservoir area that it is today. Over 12 billion barrels of oil have been produced from the basin, and recovery of the oil and gas in the area continues to this day. But knowledge of its formation lies in the past. One of the highlights of the museum is this model of the 230 million year old Permian Reef. Here you can see many of the strange and unusual organisms that made up the reef. The eerie Permian Reef display shows that this part of the world was once underwater and looked almost alien at another time. Other exhibits in the museum help explain the vast history of the formation of the Texas landscapes. From this deep well core, showing rocks dating back to the Precambrian, like the talc and marble deposits we saw earlier, to more modern day wildcatting. Back in the old days, drillers used to use nitroglycerin down the well hole in order to free up a tight formation to try and get more oil and gas out of it. And here in the museum, you can get an up close and personal feel of what that was like. Four, now three, two, one, and... Travel and recreation are great opportunities for natural resource education, and excursions like Pioneer Natural Resources Teachers Field Trip bring a better understanding of the natural world to educators and to the classroom.